Like, you know, Jay-Z and Busta Rhymes went to the same high school and stuff. So it's crazy how people connect from a younger age and then grow up. Man, that's cool, though. But um, I guess um, once you actually get into the um, to the, the hip-hop world and, and the flashing lights and scenes, man, is it everything that you expect for it to be? Because I know right now you're getting a whole bunch of money. Um, you're probably getting a whole lot of women right now and just partying and living the life, man. So it, is that, like, everything that you wanted? No, no, no. Uh, I, I, I can honestly say that it probably is everything that you would expect for it to be. But if you're wise and your eyes are, are open, you can see a lot of the things that you may have wished for actually are not fulfilling. Uh -huh. You you if if you're wise, you will probably come to the realization that Everything that you thought that looked glamorous or that looked exciting or, you know, that you just thought, you know, your idea of success was, is actually quite shallow. Yeah. And it's been to my finding that Whatever you do and God is not involved, it'll probably lead to destruction. So I guess, is, is that what you actually saw? You saw um, different things that maybe not necessarily yourself or maybe your fellow hip-hop artists, things that they were doing and it was leading to that destruction? So I just I that's why I just want to share my share my story because because you know people that know the clips and know about our music our music is very very real it's very genuine it's very authentic and it's things that we have literally done experiences that we have actually been through but that was just 
one side of it. And I, I think it's only fair that I tell of the 